Hi, welcome to the part 15 of this video series. We are looking at AC 900 real certification questions. Please subscribe to my channel. Please refer parts 1 to 14 of this video series for previous questions. So here, this piece of the question, we have to refer that. It states that the Azure environment should provide an option to access support engineers by phone or email. So the support to these access engineers should be provided by email or through phones. And they are putting into play the premier support plan. Will it meet the goal? Yes or no? So the answer for this is yes, because see, uh, if you search the support plans, you may not get premier support plan but premier is equivalent to a enterprise support plan which has this kind of support for support engineers by phone or email so this is the answer let's move forward same question but this time they are giving a solution like standard support plan does it support or not so see this is the standard support plan hundred dollars per month and if we scroll down and we see this 24 by 7 support it is marked tick mark that means it supports so the answer here would be yes we saw this in the documentation same question the basic support plan does it support this access to engineers by phone or email no let's see so this is the basic support plan it is included for all azure customers and let us see if it supports 24 by 7 support you see this here it is blank this is blank that means there is no support hence the answer here is no So this states an Azure service is available to all Azure customers, all, this is the keyword. So all is the keyword when it is in, in public review, private development, EA subscription. So the first thing is if it is in public review, public preview, it is accessible to all customers. If you see this documentation, this public preview, it says we allow any customer with proper AD license to evaluate the new feature. Okay. All customers will have access. But at the same time, if you see the description for private preview, they will only invite few customers. Now, at the same time, if you see generally available, if your public preview is completed, then the feature is open to whom? To any licensed customer. So the answer here is public preview. Last question for this video. What is the guaranteed SLA for virtual machines? What is that? So when we talk about service level agreements, are we talking about performance? No, because there is no SLA given by Azure in terms of performance. It is up to you as an application owner, how smartly you can design your applications. Bandwidth, this is totally relying on the bandwidth or the network bandwidth that say Cisco or whoever is running the internet or private internet, it depends upon them. So this is not the answer, so these two are wrong. Now feature availability, feature availability, there is no SLA for this. If there are certain features which are in private preview, public preview, there's no guarantee it will be available in the general availability section. So B is wrong. It only guarantees uptime. That means your service will be up, say 99.99% of the times. That is the only guarantee that SLA would cover for virtual machines. Hence, this is the answer please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you like my videos this brings us to the end of part 15